Life's biggest milestones don't follow a schedule like the changing of a season. Sometimes <laughs> milestones happen unexpectedly. Nice, oh. that was good. Like a new dance move on the living room floor. She's seriously so funny. Erica Mahoney. You're funny, huh, honey? Cherishes every single one. Right. She is a people person, yeah. The first steps, Aww, the first hugs. words from her two-year-old daughter and eight-month-old son. Okay, so the thing is you can't look at the camera, okay? Whose privacy Don't. she holds close. Yeah. Don't look at the camera. Along with oh, every moment. What was this? A box of candy. But with every first, there is something missing. Nice. But yeah, it's like that next chapter was just like taken from him and taken from me and taken from my kids. Erica still remembers the phone call from her mom. She said, there's an active shooter at King Supers. And then she was kind of quiet and she said, um, dad went grocery shopping. Her dad was loading up his car with groceries and coffee when the shooter arrived. When we finally got his car back, the cups of coffee were still sitting. Um, in the center console just like cold. And I feel like that is heartbreaking because it was like he was just here. Um, so that was like a really low point. The groceries were still in the trunk. It was the worst moment of her life at a time when life was supposed to be going in a different direction. I was entering the third trimester of my first pregnancy and that was really hard. I lost a parent while becoming a parent. And it was just so hard to balance death and life at the same time. Um, As she dealt with the highs stories. and the lows. I'm so inspired to live my life like Kevin. Support poured in from across the world. Friends and strangers lifting her up. <sighs> That meant a lot. It's like both painful and beautiful at the same time. It's like this like box of cards that is like so hard to look back at, but also shows me the good in the world. It was June 19th, 2022. She has started um, writing herself. Dear dad, uh, my daughter will be one on Tuesday. In letters to her dad. Being a mom feels very natural to me. <laughs> But motherhood arrived at such a strange time. These beautiful milestones come with heartache. Last year, Erica had more big news. George, you're so cute. With the birth of her son, Erica says every day. Ah, so sweet. She sees more of her dad in her so kids. Sweet. My daughter has his eyes. And that is really cool. Cool, Erica is now seeing in old photos. Yeah, there's my dad. That make her smile <laughs> instead of cry. Sweet hairdo. Parts of his life I will never know now, but I'm so happy to see these pictures. The family just moved back to Boulder from California a few weeks ago. And while it's tough to drive by the store, Erica chooses to look in other directions. It's really been so magical to come back home. Like, I look at those mountains and I see my dad, and it is beautiful. Her daughter has started asking about grandpa. No one prepares you for how to explain, like, this to your child. And I'm still figuring it out. But I talk about Grandpa Mahoney, and she knows who he is. She likes to look at pictures of him, and she asks questions about him and she wanted a picture of him in her room. And I tell her that if she's ever scared, she can ask Grandpa Mahoney for help. No one can replace you and no one ever will. A legacy that lives on within Erica's family. You were the best dad in the world to me. Here for every moment along the way. Thank you for coming to visit us when you can. We all feel your presence.